wood batik artist. It's uh, similar to batik on fabric, but it's it's painting on with fabric dyes on wood. I create art and uh, art furniture. I kind of go crazy and find different ways to incorporate art into different wood products. Well, first you gotta cut the wood. You gotta figure out what design you're gonna do, but it's, it's very similar to, to, to when you do batiks on fabric. You, 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 I use a resist. Say uh, I have spots on the painting where I don't want the dyes to go into. I put a resist in there, and that stops the dyes from crossing in. And then as I do the artwork, every item in that painting is also resisted after it's done so that the, the dyes don't bleed. Otherwise, the trick is uh, I just controlling the flow and the bleed of the dyes. If you don't do that, then it's going to be totally mushy. I work with different woods like coal wood, mango wood, birch, maple. All these woods have different effects. Like if you, you work with a white wood, the, the colors come out really bright. Like on core, it's sort, it's sort of subdued, but the grain of the core makes the product, you know, it, it really enhances it a, a whole lot. So you do a core dining table, and you've got koi fish swimming on it, it just kind of shivers, shivers away. Sometimes I, I, I see something, or I see a picture, and, and then I, I kind of reinterpret it into my own vision, and then I take it from there. And if it comes out halfway decent, you know, you, know, you have the concept in your mind. If you can create that concept and, and look at it and say, yeah, that's just what I saw. And, you know, you create it, then I guess you've succeeded in creating a vision. Uh, I've, been, I've been on the road for five years. You know, I just got home like two months ago, so the stuff I have now is totally new. I have, uh, my work has been sold all over the world, from, from uh, Spain, Germany, Australia, Japan. And I've done mostly all the restaurants here, Nick's Fish Market, Lloyd's. I've done all that. I've, just, I've also been to Micronesia, Asia. I've just, just been traveling. Well, I've seen it just about everywhere. I just like to see it more places, like hotels, restaurants, you know. My stuff is good accent pieces in, 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 to create an environment. I do a lot of, like, you know, you have these uh, snowbirds that come over from the States and they, they buy a home here. They want their house to look Hawaiian. So they call me up and I try and recreate that Hawaiian feel into their uh, the environment. It, it looks like you folks got your act together. And I like how you bring all different mediums together. So that you know you're not just lopsided with art. You got music, you got fashion. So you bring different people in. So you have a broader range of prospective clients. So that's a good thing. My website would be uh, studiokealoha.com. My name is Kealoha, and I'm a raw artist.